So this is my N equals one experiment. And I'm really grateful to Tim Ferriss for writing The 4-Hour Body because it opened my eyes to the fact that I can get older, but I don't have to be broken, and I can fix myself. I think this is really, really important, especially since Tim is 37, I'm 58, my brain is 21 years older than Tim, so in actuality, my brain is old enough to be his mother. So I need science and technology to make my brain better. So type 3 diabetes here in the United States, we call it something else. We call it Alzheimer's. And this is a horrible disease, a horrible disease. We've got to stop hammering our brains with blood sugar. And that's why I became a fat burner, not a sugar burner. I go ketogenesis. I, I now don't have mood swings. My brain isn't hijacked by uh, sugar cravings. And it's not hijacked by brain fog. And so that's some of the things that I'm going to talk about. Now, I'm sad about this picture, but it does illustrate chronic inflammation and what it does. If you are puffy on the outside, your brain is probably swollen on the inside. Inflammation is the, is the enemy of cognitive functioning. I use a heart rate um, app to measure the food that I eat because the biggest trigger for inflammation is food. And so I use this after a suspect meal. I'm 63 uh, beats per minute, but when I eat suspect foods like these, then my heart rate goes up to 85 to 90 beats per minute. I can't do vegetable oils. I can't do nightshades. Starches, sugars, fruit, and some dairy really bother me. And you're probably looking at this thinking, that's a lot of deprivation. What the heck can she eat? Well, look at me. I'm well fed. <laughs> you know, I have a lot to eat. So I really encourage you to start testing yourself. These are the foods I can eat. I start my morning with uh, bulletproof coffee. I'm a high fat, moderate protein, low starch person. I eat uh, saturated fats and mono fats. I eat some st safe starches like rice and uh, sweet potatoes. But I also eat a lot of vegetables. And occasionally there's a little bit of chocolate in there too because apparently that doesn't give me any problems. But I feel deeply nourished when I eat this way. Now we want to get that nourishment to our brains. We want to get the oxygen and those nutrients up here. And to do that, I do wind sprints at least once a week. And that helps keep my cardiovascular system fit. So it's the delivery system. And human growth hormone, we lose it as we get older. If you don't have it, your cells die. If you lift weights, you naturally weight, raise your human growth hormones naturally, and you have cell regeneration. That's really, really important. Cold thermogenesis, it's sitting in cold water. And it sounds a little crazy, but remember that inflammation and type 3 diabetes? It makes you more insulin sensitive, and it also helps you with uh, inflammation. Now, the production server's down. Your body says, thank you, brain, for telling me about this threat. Now I'm going to shut you down, and I'm going to shunt all your resources to your legs so we can run the hell out of here. You don't want that. You want a resilient brain. Uh, I'm going to talk about some ways that you can build that resiliency so that when these stressful things happen, you're not hijacked by adrenal glands and you can control it. I uh, do 10 minutes of meditation using these apps, guided meditation, and I find that I'm more present, and I find when the PM tells me that we have two more features to code three days before the sprint ends, that I'm pretty calm about it. And when I'm working, I use focus at will. It allows me to uh, shunt out the distractions, but also it has a Pomodoro method built in. It has a timer. I do 42 minutes instead of 24 because developers, that's a better time thing. This is how I hack my sleep. Earbuds, eye mask, dark is better. Fitbit tells me how much I sleep. Uh, if you have a significant other that might snore, this is very helpful. And here's the software. Uh, I, use, uh, I use Flux and Twilight for amber displays on my electronics and brain entrainment to help me fall asleep. So these are some of the software apps I use every night. So be excellent to your brain. Manage your inflammation because a swollen brain is bad. 
protect your brain from high blood sugar because type 3 diabetes is really horrible. And also, a rested brain is a resilient brain. Thank you.